Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panthervision. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this glassy effect in Photoshop, which is also found in the Madonna's uh, album cover, MDMA, or what is that called? But anyway, anyways, let's jump in. Import the model which you would like to edit, and let's go to the... So, as you can see here, this is the crop, uh, usually in default, but if you long click on it, you can see the slice tool. So, we need to select the slice tool, select it like this, right click and we're gonna select the divide slice click on the divide vertical into and i don't know i'm gonna type in somewhere around uh, 15 16. i'm gonna click ok and what we're gonna do is go to this tool rectangle mark tool and just select the first little space in here as you can see it's selected now let's create on this layer a mask. Now as you can see, we masked it. So the trick is to uncheck this little thing. So uh, now these two are separated. If I'm gonna click on the model, as you can see, it's still there, but uh, we can move it only in this little space because we cut the rest here in the mask. So what we're gonna do from here is create an action so we can make this uh, more faster. We're gonna create a new uh, folder, rename it as MDNA. I don't even know what's the album cover name. So we're gonna create, just click on the plus, click record. So now it's, it is recording. I'm gonna now drag and drop this to this little plus so we created a new copy and now select this one not the model but the mask select the mask zoom in and press and hold shift also so you can uh, isolate it perfectly and just drag it to the next little bracket here or what is that called there you go and that's it now you can stop the recording with this little button now it recorded the whole thing what we're gonna do is go to the action here and just press play and press play again and again and you know you don't need to do this manually 16 times all right so we got all this separated and now we need to apply the effect so this one is starts from the left and what we're gonna do is press ctrl t on this layer by the way which is the model not on the mask and you just drag it, press and hold Alt, and you distort the photo like this. I think I'm gonna put it like that a little bit to come out. There you go. Double click and just do the same thing with every of these. Uh, you need to be careful, by the way. It's a trial and error kind of thing. You need to figure out how it works better. For me, it also took a while until I got it right, by the way. So I'm gonna speed this up. So there you go, uh, this is how it looks. I'm gonna select all these layers, press and hold shift and go to the bottom and as you can see, you select it all, right click and go to convert to smart object. Okay, we're gonna cre create now a new layer. Now we're gonna create a line. So switch this to white, click on this so it switches to white. And now we're gonna select the rectangle mark tool again and just drag a line here like that and now press alt plus backspace there you go you can apply it differently if you don't want to apply with the shortcuts you can go to the paint bucket tool select it and just apply it from here we're gonna deselect it anyway so press ctrl d so, and now press ctrl t uh, we're gonna need to drag this right in the middle of the line, right where they intersect. And I'm gonna make this uh, 8 pixels. So you got like 4 pixels on the right and 4 pixels on the left. Drag it down, double click, 
So you need to add this line, copy paste the line, you know where they cut. And we're gonna do this method by which where we create this uh, action. We're gonna press play, click on continue, and as you can see, it just copy pasted. What I gotta do is go back to this to the models layer and create a new layer here. And we're gonna switch the colors to black. Select the paint bucket tool, click. So we got the back, uh, black background and we're gonna save this, go to file, save as. We're gonna save this as Photoshop file. I'm gonna rename it as MD and a we don't want to save all the layers we just want just one file so basically this way it's gonna shrink down the size of the psd file basically we're gonna save it and now i can press and hold shift select them all and press delete we also don't need these blue lines anymore so i'm gonna go here where's the you know crop tool where we selected the slice tool we're gonna i'm gonna select the slice tool and just select it all as you can see, it cleared out all the lines. So we're gonna apply this uh, glassy effect, go to filter, filter gallery, and go to distort and press on the glass. I'm gonna scroll out so you can see what is going on. So it's gonna apply this uh, glassy texture. We got uh, all kinds of textures going on, like blocks, canvas, and uh, here we can load our uh, displacement maps. So we're gonna hit on this little thing, press it, load texture, and let's select the MDNA PSD file, which we saved like previously. So go to open. And now this way it's gonna apply the displacement map of the lines. So, and you're gonna, you're gonna distort those. Uh, we're gonna press on invert. So it's gonna pop out instead of this way it pops in, it cuts in. And now this way it's basically in, in, in 3D. We're gonna put the scale on 100 so uh, the lines, these cutouts gonna fall exactly where we uh, modified uh, the model. And from here you also can, uh, you know, mix it up the distortions. Right now it was 100%. You can bring it down a little. 15 is pretty good for me, smoothness. So I'm gonna put this on. And yeah, seven is click OK. And this is how you achieve this classy effect. So yeah, this is mainly it. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and check out the other videos as well. Have a great one, bye bye.